Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So we'll continue our discussion with uh, sensors, transducers and instrumentation. And uh, so far uh, we have discussed some basic concepts related to hygrometers and about resistive hygrometer, the basic construction and working principle. So in this video, we are going to discuss about another type of commonly used hygrometer, which is capacitive hygrometer. So as you can uh, guess from the name itself, the basic operating principle is based on change of capacitance with respect to change in humidity or moisture level. So before doing that, let us just have a quick look at the basic concepts related to humidity. So humidity is basically the amount of water vapor or moisture present in a substance, mainly in gas when it comes to measurement in atmosphere in a particular environment or surroundings. So it is generally measured in terms of uh, absolute humidity, specific humidity or relative humidity. But mostly you will find most of the sensors related to humidity measurement give output in terms of relative humidity. Okay. So relative humidity is very important when it comes to uh, sensors and transducers related to measurement of humidity. So relative humidity is basically the ratio between the water vapor present in a given volume of gas to the amount of water vapor required for, saturate, for saturation, the same amount, the same volume of gas means the maximum water vapor holding capacity of that gas at that particular temperature. So it is given in terms of percentage values. So most of the uh, hygrometers give output in terms of relative humidity. So hygrometers are used for measurement of humidity and they give output in terms of relative humidity. So here we are going to discuss about capacitive hygrometer. So the capacitive hygrometer setup okay it is capacitive hygrometer okay so the capacitive hygrometer setup it consists of aluminium substrate porous aluminium oxide a thin film of gold uh, for signal conditioning we can use a oscillator circuit uh, or any other AC bridges can be used because we have to convert capacitance change into any output in terms of frequency change with the help of oscillator or voltage or current with the help of suitable AC bridges and a display element. So here the three most important things which uh, are the main parts of this hygrometer setup, the capacitive hygrometer setup are the aluminium substrate the porous aluminium oxide and the gold film. So here the aluminium substrate and the gold film they behave as two parallel plates of the capacitor. We know parallel plate capacitor in which we have two metallic plates separated by a certain distance by a dielectric medium that gives rise to some value of capacitance between them. So here aluminium substrate and the gold film they act as the two plates and the porous aluminium oxide between them is the dielectric medium which is sensitive to moisture levels humidity levels okay so the basic setup it looks something like this okay aluminium substrate which acts as the base one plate of the capacitor one electrode, the parallel plate capacitor and the gold film which is another plate of the capacitor. Between them porous aluminium oxide. This is the sensitive material which responds to change in humidity or moisture levels. So what happens is that when this setup, the sensor is placed in a particular surrounding environment where humidity is to be measured, the moisture comes in contact with the porous aluminium oxide. Okay, so when it comes in contact with the porous aluminium oxide, it causes a change in the permittivity, the dielectric constant. Okay, 
so this change in the permittivity or dielectric constant gives rise to a change in capacitance okay we know that capacitance c is equal to epsilon a by d where epsilon is the permittivity or dielectric constant a is the overlap area the uh, we have already discussed in the capacitive sensor what is overlap area the amount the portion of the two plates which are lying which are facing each other which are one above the other or facing each other and then the distance between the plates so here there is nothing to do with a and d they are constant the only thing which is uh, changing with respect to moisture is this dielectric constant okay so this can either increase or decrease with respect to change in moisture levels which gives rise to a change in capacitance now so this capacitance change can be converted into suitable voltage or current or it can also be given in, uh, in terms of frequency values if we connect it with the help of uh, a suitable LC or RC oscillator circuit or we can use AC bridges. So mostly you will find oscillator circuits. So there are different types of uh, oscillator circuits in which the feedback network in this circuit, the oscillating circuit it can either include uh, inductors and capacitors or resistors and capacitors. For example, Hartley, Colpitts, tune collector oscillator or phase shift oscillator, wind bridge oscillator. It can be used to give us an output in terms of frequency change where the frequency change corresponds to the change in capacitance because if it is an LC circuit, the inductor value, the inductance value will be the constant and resistance value will be constant in case of RC circuit. So the variable element is the uh, capacitance. So the capacitance change can be uh, calibrated in terms of the frequency change. So when the frequency changes, we can uh, use a suitable mathematical equation depending on which type of oscillator circuit we are using. For example, uh, if we are using Hartley oscillator, the output frequency value will be different if we are using Colpitts oscillator, the frequency uh, formula will be different. For wind bridges, it is different. For phase shift, it is different. So depending on which type of oscillator circuit we are using, the uh, frequency value will be different. So similarly, if we are using AC bridges also involving inductance, resistance, capacitance, in that case also the values are different depending on which type of bridge we are using. So mostly you will find oscillator circuits. So this is how we convert change in capacitance of the uh, capacitive hygrometer into change in frequency or suitable voltage or current level with the help of oscillator or AC bridges. So this is the basic construction and working principle of capacitive hygrometer. So I hope you like this video. And uh, please subscribe my channel Engineering Tutorial for more such videos related to engineering science and technology. Have a great day. Thank you very much.